Hello, welcome back to Brand Assist Live Noting. In this episode, I want to talk about selections inside geometry nodes. So I will start with something like a grid. Um, later on, we can use other geometry. So simple grid, and we're gonna go inside geometry nodes and selections. Okay, with selections, we have a couple of nodes that's actually using selections. Um, the one that's probably obvious. Actually, almost everything have uh, some kind of selections that we can use. So, for example, if we use this delete geometry and we set it to points, okay, and with these selections, with nothing selected, uh, we have nothing. It deletes everything. If we use random value, however, and set it to boolean, you plug this into selections, suddenly you have something going on. So let's save this very quickly. Selection. And selection, normally we can't really see selections, I think. Uh, but selection actually expecting like a Boolean value on and off. So let's plug this outside like that. And just call it bool. So bool is our selections. Okay, so it's on on and off. And it's currently selecting vertices and it's doing some magic. So it's trying to delete a surface based on the selected point. We can set it to face. So it's only deleting face. And we can set this probability. Probability, yep. Okay, uh, so this is boolean value, random value. Okay, cool. So it's deleting based on this random value. You can actually uh, do the same thing uh, to set material. So instead of deleting, you can set material. But before I go there, you can also use uh, compare. So comparisons to do selections and not many people talk about this could be uh, because it's could be slightly complicated but it's actually quite crucial so you can delete uh, because this output is also boolean you can delete polygon face that's less than or things like that okay so this is uh, quite handy and if I'm using a torus or donut I can use the same geometry nodes and we can delete delete by selections using this uh, boolean operations or comparison less than greater than equal etc so the one that's really useful is something like a uh, math operations you can do like a modulo with a modulo of is like a, anything that's divided by modulo if we make it like uh, and we tell it if it's equal to zero give a boolean value so this will select every other so this is like a common common math operations uh, you can actually use greater than just play with this value you get a interesting result yeah anyway it's uh that's uh something to play around with for you uh, so we can use random value uh we can use uh, select we can use set material okay so geometry set material material so we're gonna use the same random value and so we want to set material for example if we have two material so this one could be pink color or purple or this one maybe green we can check the material okay now it's something is being assigned purple because of this random value because this is a boolean We can have another set material 
and then use the invert we use boolean math and do an invert or invert Uh, what's the okay invert is actually not Boom. okay yep so we have two materials one of them is assigned with the other so if it's not if it's selected give this uh, material 001 if it's select not selected give 002 okay so that's cool um, so we understand now what selection does and it's gonna be really super useful um, there's other other things that's actually dealing with selections we can actually select uh, using noise so instead of random let's unplug random once again so this is the invert let's use noise so modulo greater than we can use this noise and then we use the the factor output and then we can observe the output like so so there's a maybe our geometry needs to have more resolution so we're gonna subdivide okay I subdivide it it has now more details we can work with now we can observe our 3d noise pattern make, let's make this 4d so we can animate okay cool so based on the noise and we actually make like a boolean selections using greater than with the same setup we can actually delete geometry based on this selection or this selection you can actually combine the, both of them you know and we can use uh, something like solidify because it's uh, cutting the face we can we can smooth this <laughs> make solidify you know this kind of thing pretty cool can still adjust the noise value so it's like this is being eaten we can animate play around with scale all right so yeah that's pretty cool we can actually so this is deleting one we can delete the others and you can combine you can join both of them so subdivide mesh we are using selections to set the material or can we and we did we are deleting the value using selection so we can combine both so we have this type of effects there seems to be okay there's a gap is that because of the get of the smoothing yep get rid of the smoothing So boolean is of course just on and off um, if if we are using and selection is only like you 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 either select something or you don't select something if you have multiple color value uh, let's see you can use a uh, set material index so okay this is something completely different this plane have four different material red yellow green blue okay and I'm using the same noise texture but now I'm using uh, instead of uh, boolean 0 and 1 selections I'm using material index and I'm trying to cover all the the noise so red yellow green and blue okay though we have all the noise pretty much i'm using the map range okay let me try to explain maybe i don't need to explain 
you can just curve maybe RGB curve and try to play around with the contrast so it's, a, it's almost looking like a map low poly map so it's basically noise that's based on the position of this geometry which originally is, uh, is a grid interesting so grid set material I'm assigning four different materials into this grid that's being generated on the fly I can replace this with cylinder so we have something completely different maybe we don't need the top view okay anyway grid is simpler so grid looks looking like a map so we capture the position and then plug this into the noise so we have uh, some kind of noise going on and then from this noise I know the noise value range is uh, between minus something it's a fractional value but anyway we, we anyhow we can kind of remap it so it's a value between 0 and 5 for example so this will det determine a number that we can use to set the material index so yeah we are learning like maybe three different nodes today but based on the, the material index and also selection what's interesting here okay it's a we can use random value of boolean plug into the selection so this this is adding noise on top of our material index pretty uh, pretty strange zero and one value to set the material index could be useful I don't know why but you can also use distribute points on face based on selection so that's why selection is very important it's almost in every nodes so if we if we use this uh, noise texture and we're gonna use the comparison math get the noise and then compare it with a number and then result send it to selections now we have uh, we have noise controlling the distribution of the points it's actually could be useful for other things but I think I'm more interested with the material so currently we have noise texture I don't, I don't know if we have already oh we have Foronoi we have Foronoi now uh, so we can use the same setup instead of using noise we can plug in the Foronoi distance okay cool look we have dots pattern we can assign this to Suzanne also so currently this is using the geometry that's inside we can simply replace with our geometry and then assign just link the modifier oops command L link copy modifier and then link the material data so now we have uh, <laughs> this sick sick looking Suzanne Suzanne you look sick you get a lot of dots chicken pox of some sort uh, this geometry coming in 
let's subdivide we have subdivide and we have subdivision surface let's use subdivision surface okay this one is seems pretty heavy heavy good idea okay to make this a little bit tidier let's get rid of some stuff uh, bring in geomet a uh, group input group input and then use a switch node let's switch this into geometry so we want to be able to switch between our original input and uh, something inside that we generate like uh, the grid so original input and this guy by doing that we can turn this into grid so everything can become just a simple grid and or it becomes itself okay so pretty cool of uh, yeah material okay we, we talk about that what else can we use to randomize this the scale and also we can make this photo into 4d it's gonna be the slowest but we can animate we can play around with the w value that we can plug outside start to tidy this a little bit okay now I think it's better now so we have we can have multiple of this and play around with the W value we have different result and also the scale also handy so each one of them can have different scale of the dots this seems a little bit more sick than this guy Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's uh, basically what it is. So I'm talking about selections and also I'm talking about the index thing to do the set material. So hopefully this is useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.